Hello and welcome to this course about ROS2, new features. My name is Emiliano Borghi and I will be your teacher. Before giving a brief overview of what are you going to learn in this course, I would like to introduce myself. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and graduated in electronics engineer from the National Technological University. I'm passionate about robotics, and that's why I started working as a software developer at Acumen, a company that gives robotic services to leading organizations like Open Robotics, Saviok, and Inorbit, to name a few. I also teach robotics at the UTN with a bunch of iRobot Create 2s and ROS. What we will learn during this course? The aim of this course is to give you the necessary tools to start developing applications with ROS2 through examples. The course is divided into six sections. The first one will introduce the aim of ROS2 and the most notable differences with ROS1. Along with this, we will be setting up the computer so you can start working during the next sections. In the second section, you will learn the core concepts using the command line interface, what has changed, what's new, and what's missing. The third section will continue what we saw previously, using the client library in two programming languages, C++ and Python, through some publisher subscriber examples. Then we will see the most radical features that come with ROS2, like security, lifecycle management, real-time capabilities, and so on. Moreover, we will explore the current status of Erbis 2 and other debugging tools like RQT. Besides this, you will learn how to stay in touch with the community and why it's so important. Finally, we will see how to interact with Gazebo, the simulator, working with plugins and creating a ROS control node that will interact with it. Before starting, I recommend you to have a computer with Ubuntu 18.04, have some knowledge on ROS 1 and of course, be interested in robotics. The course has three main goals. First, understand the new features of ROS2. See what's new in this version and what changed with respect to ROS1. Also, familiarize with the concepts that we are going to cover here, so you learn more complex topics by yourself. And finally, start developing simple robotic applications with the Gazebo Simulator so you can quickly test your ideas without the need of having a real robot. I hope you can enjoy this course as I did doing it. What are you waiting for? Let's get started.